Hello everyone, the chosen individual here with another video on Minecraft. I know, Minecraft has returned. So, this video has been one of the more awaited ones by me, especially because I've been wanting to do it since last year. But I didn't have enough time to do it last year, so let's do it now. And so you might be wondering what this is. Easy. It's a nuclear power plant. I know that might seem hard to see, but come on. Soon soon you'll know. Those are the reactors, those four reactors, those are the spent fuel pools, the control rooms, break rooms, turbines. I still have cooling towers on the uh, on the actual, you know, water loop to do. But we'll do that in the next video since this thing is absolutely huge and it's going to take me years to do. So Let's first start out with the actual reactors. You're gonna need, obviously, all of your regular RBMK components. You're gonna need RBMK fuel rods, you're gonna need RBMK moderated control rods, structural columns, steam channels, um, you can have some irradiation channels if you want, and some boron. Boron neutron absorbers, whoops. So just find the center, there we go, place a fuel rod, there we go. Now on all four sides, cover it with moderated control rods. You, you, you might want to put a, um, a color on these control rods, but if you don't want them, that's fine. And put another fuel rod, then another control rod, fuel rod, control rod, fuel rod, until it hits the very end, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 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 I just realized I, I miscounted this, oh, well, it doesn't really matter, it's not essential for operation, so just rinse and repeat on the other sides, and you may realize that this is not a reassim reactor, and the reason for that is that, well, I don't, really need it to be real sim anymore, I I already have a more powerful computer that can take bigger reactors and more of them, so yeah. On these uh, four sides, place your radiation channels and put some control rods between them. Or not, depends. If you want to do it, then do it. If not, then that's completely fine by me. Let me adjust my mic. There we go. Mm -hmm. And now, count out one block. Another fuel rod there. One block, fuel rod. One block, fuel rod. From the radiation channels, I should say. One block, fuel rod. Perfect. Now we just need to place control rods here and here. Control rods here and well, here and here. Here and here, and here and here. Okay, perfect. I think we have all of them in place. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna have to, you know, dig out a bit here. Actually, it's not very really necessary. You can, well, you will have to dig it out like this you know, the corners, because, well, I'll, I'll show you why in a minute, so I just, I'll just do it and I'll cut back to you when I'm done, since, well, I'm pretty sure you know how to do it. Okay, so as you see here, I have already dug everything out. Um, now, the objective that we want is for kind of the top of the reactor, you know, the upper biological shield, to leave one block hanging. I don't know, you might not know what I mean. By the way, this reactor is full size, 15 by 15. So yeah, do keep that in mind. This is a 15 by 15 circle with these corners. This yellow area, I'll explain it in a minute. Do not worry at all. I'm just gonna place some boron here. It's not necessarily, necessarily, necessary, so you don't have to put it if you don't want. So now let's go onto our steam channels. 
hidden channel here, here, hidden channel here, steam channel here. Okay, cool. Now you also want to place steam channels here and here. Here and here. The thing about this reactor is that it has a lot of steam channels, so that means a lot of water. But it can produce, I think, up to 2 million HEs per second. And with four of them, well, 2 times 4 is 8. So it'll produce 8 million HEs per second. Still not better than, say, the fusion reactor, but it's a pretty, pretty good option. Okay, so. You want to place some more uh, steam channels here? Basically, you want to. Well, you can make really any design. If you want, this can be a pressurized water reactor like the one I showcased a few videos ago. Um, just make any design that can fit within this area. Yeah, 15 by 15 area. Which is the maximum that you can control with one screen, so. I don't think it's going to be very difficult. Now you're going to have to connect these with. And you're gonna have to connect these. Put some more steam channels here. I know that it's gonna be time consuming to do this for all four reactors and do all the piping and everything, but trust me, it will be worth it at the very end. If you want this, you can do this on a server and boast to your friends how they probably don't have the palate to enjoy something so sophisticated. Okay, so it turns out um, these control rods, I placed them in the wrong place. They're supposed to be here, here. So you just do that for all of them, you know. Instead, what you want to place there is steam channels. And then, uh, where is it? There we go. Control rod and control rod. You need to have control rods. Um, they're basically to hold the reaction, like if you want to turn off the reactor or to moderate its power. I think, well, we'll get to these specifications in a minute since I'm kind of busy right now. I'm kind of mind busy right now, so yeah. I'll get to the specifications when everything is done. Okay, so uh, you want to make sure that everything looks... nice and square, you know what I mean? Like, it looks symmetrical. There's no disturbances. Okay. We'll just link these up with more steam channels. The more steam channels you place, um, the higher steam output of the reactor, and as such, well, the power will increase. So if you say you want to do only two reactors, because you don't have the resource for, for four, um, what you can do is instead of the structural columns, which we'll be filling out in a minute, or the radiation channels, you can just place a lot, a lot of steam channels. Although be wary, it's going to be extremely expensive, so, yeah. Think out your options, and, uh, as I always say, test it in a survival, um, sorry, in a creative world before you do anything. Okay, so the steam channels are now in place. Now we're just going to grab our beautiful structural columns and fill in the remaining gaps. Just make sure that it's somewhat coherent. Wait, no. <laughs> whoops, whoops. That was not supposed to go there. Or oh, was no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Just fill in the gaps within the actual core. You know what I mean? Something just fell in my house. I don't know what it was. Okay, so once all of the blanks are filled in, you are going to need 
concrete. So go ahead and grab some concrete. It can be whatever type you want. And you're going to want to sort of make a lining to the reactor, if you know what I mean. Whoa. Don't lag on me, please. This? Your rod's supposed to be... Yeah, they're supposed to be there. It's really strange. Anyways, just, uh, just chop all the corners. It'll be fine, probably. So yeah, just do the rim job. Imagine you're like, well, I don't know, Vincent Van Gogh painting his lesser known masterpiece, uh, Nuclear Winter, or something like that. Just, just align everything so that it looks nice. And also to contain the radiation. Now you're obviously in survival going to need to replace every block manually, but since I have a skill issue and really don't want to do that, I'm just gonna do that. There we go, it is perfect. Made no mistakes. At least I think. Uh, you're also gonna want to fill this gap out with concrete. Actually, no, you wanna fill it out with. Hold on, let me clear my inventory real quick. You're gonna want concrete, uh, concrete tiles. Well, concrete and concrete tiles for now. Let's just fill all this out. I think we're, yeah, we're gonna have duck right here in the Well, uh, let me show you how to make the upper biological shield because I know many of you might not know what I'm talking about But do not worry. It's very very easy indeed It has a lot of cool colors as well. This video is already extremely long <laughs> It's 13 minutes quick. It's like a race against the time And all these. Okay, perfect. Now grab some duckweed. Um, duckweed, duckweed, duckweed. Where is it? I don't see it. There it is. Duckweed. And you also want to get some colored concrete. You want to get some lime concrete. Yes, some lime concrete, some yellow concrete, and some blue concrete. Well, yeah, some blue concrete. Let's fill this gap in with duckcrete. Make it look nice. Okay, and now we're gonna fill all this out with concrete tiles, but there's a catch Where there's control rods, we're going to place lime concrete above This is according to the RBMK color code by the way I'll, I'll probably link uh, leave a link down in the description or something to Wikipedia where you can read because many people don't know what it is, and it makes your it makes your RBMK a little more vibrant. You know, it gives it gives it a little pizzazz, if you know what I mean. Okay, now yellow concrete, just for a bit of variety. It can be either yellow or green concrete. Mm, is that good? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so lime concrete. Okay, yeah, don't place control rods here. <laughs> Sorry, it just looks bad. I don't want colors to either side. It just looks bad. And you don't need them anyway, so you might as well just save the resources. Okay, there we go. Um, put some more green. 
concrete here, or well lime, as the game calls it. Then that should be perfecto. Now on top of the outgazers, you want to place, well, the irradiation channels. Put some blue, just for some more variety, a bit more pizzazz. And in the missing spots, just place concrete tiles. So your reactor looks a little bit like this. Okay, and if your RBM kit looks a little bit like this, then you should be golden. Now keep in mind, this is just the structure. We're gonna do the piping much later. Now you're gonna grab some um, particle accelerator plating or any other hazard block that represents hazard. You know, like the the what you call it, the yellow and black stripes. You know what I'm talking about. Remove the wool. By the way, 100% recommended. Um, Mark the area with wool before you start building, please. Just a quick public service announcement. Let's finish lining all of this up. I'm just gonna show you a quick world edit trick. If you grab your wooden axe, boom, boom, and then boom, and then replace. Uh, Okay. This is yeah. It just does it for you, and you don't need to do it. Well, considering your own world edit, of course. And that is reactor number one, numero uno. Now the control room is going to be here. Oh, this video is already 19 minutes long, so. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. It has been a fun ride in 2022. Thank you so much for all the support you have given me. And I look forward to seeing you soon, since it's already 2023. I can't really say that. But yeah, I'm gonna finish building the other reactors. It's just rinse and repeat, do not worry. And, and I'm gonna do another video soon showcasing uh, these green parts, these line parts, and this gray path, which is the control rooms. And well, then when I finish all of that, it will be hopefully a little less time consuming. I'll then start working on the turbine hall, cooling towers, etc. So this will be a multi-part series. But if next video you see that all these halls are already um, full, just like this one, uh, then do not, do not worry, it's just rinse and repeat. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. This has been The Chosen Individual, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, gamers.